Hey guys, welcome to commercial flight training vlog number two. Um, so this one is going to be a little bit uh, different, I guess. So in the first video, you saw me flying with an instructor named Ryan. Ryan and a lot of people in the comments and a lot of my friends, everyone basically said, why aren't you doing this in the Comanche? Uh, and I didn't have a good reason other than I'm just super comfortable flying the Cirrus. So after a little bit of discussion with multiple people, a lot of these maneuvers are very trim centric. Uh, your steep turns and a lot of this kind of stuff, um, you're holding these banks in for time. And it, 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 I can see where it makes a little more sense to just you know, trim the plane how I need it uh, versus the electric trim on the Sirius, which you're, you kind of chase it a lot. It's a little aggressive. I, I've never been a fan of it. Um, so I did decide I would go ahead and switch over to the Comanche. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be flying with a gentleman named Jim. So I was uh, debriefing with a friend of mine here at the airport uh, about my commercial flight. And he said, oh, have you flown with Jim? I said, I don't I don't know Jim. He said, dude, he's, he's based here at the airport. His plane's a stone's throw away. So um, and to prove it to me, he threw a stone at Jim's airplane, and then I threw a stone at Jim's airplane. We spent a good hour and a half just throwing rocks at Jim's plane just to prove that he was that close. Uh, so Jim is a local instructor at the field who I actually I haven't met, um, but uh, in the last week, two people have told me I need to go fly with, with Jim. Uh, so we're going to go uh, meet uh, Jim and uh, do uh, flight number two. Uh, I don't know exactly what maneuvers we'll be doing, uh, but... We'll, we'll figure it out. So, uh, new instructor, uh, different plane. Uh, so maybe we'll change it up every time. I don't know yet, but, uh, here we go. Uh, let's, uh, let's jump into lesson number two as we work on our commercial rating. We'll do straight ahead and then we'll do a turning, turning to the left, like you're turning final. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm going to tell you now. He's scared to death. There we go. Scared to death. <laughs> so, uh, so as you encounter the stall, what do you do? So as I encounter, well, I'm gonna, just release the yeah, high pressure, the right? Nose, yeah, just let it go now. Yeah, so, plane, yeah. Do you know that you cannot stall in the final turn if you're not pulling back? Most people that stall, they start this turn and then they pull. So what happens when I think about like that Fairchild incident with the B fifty two? I'm like, if you if I fly my plane eighty knots and I put it in a ninety degree bank. Well, you can put it in a ninety degree bank to put your nose down. It ain't no, gonna stall. Not gonna stall. So the bank has nothing to do. No. Okay. And we can we uh, we'll, we'll see that today. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but all, all this all I mean in a 10 degree bank <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's, no. No, let's do it the, 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 the idea is we need to do but it. all this is to get you used to your airplane so that you can you know be the plane you can feel it like northwest traffic commit you 7420 Papa is departing runway 35 we'll be departing to the northwest northwest traffic alright you ready to go yep alright final's clear Mixtures Mixtures up heads up warm flaps are set trim is set we're gonna do normal takeoff Alright, armor looks good, final looks good, go, full power, wheels on the floor, it's 40, 50, 60, 70, So the plan for this flight was that it would be a two hour training flight. The first hour we would focus on just getting to know the Comanche, uh, slow flight, stalls, uh, stalls at a 45 degree bank, uh, just get to learn some of the characteristics of the plane. I basically expressed to Jim that um, I haven't done a whole lot of that stuff. I generally don't go out and do a bunch of slow flight and stalls and it's something I wanted to do. So the first hour was going to be that type of thing. The second hour was going to be to do some of the maneuvers that I'd done with, with Ryan and then uh, Jim was going to show me some of the other more advanced commercial maneuvers. Did you get that ski lake out there just north of Prop Marsh? Yeah. You know, just about half a mile just the north of that would be great. Okay. So once you get, you know, somewhere up in here, it's like a 270 heading. All right, that looks good. Got a little bit of tendency to climb. Trying to trim it out. Are you using a checklist for this, or is this just all my memory? This is all my memory. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to pimp on you like this all the it's time. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. I need you. To, I mean, that's what I need. Yeah. I, I, I want to be a better pilot. You got fair view right there? What's that? You got fair view right there, the grass strip? Right here. Where are these... You're passing extended. Oh, I see, it, I see it. I see it. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
All right, so. Fairview traffic, uh, Comanche 20 Papa is entering a left downwind for runway 35. Fairview. In case you didn't catch that, Jim just pulled the power, basically simulating an engine loss. The noise you're hearing is my gear warning horn. The plane senses that we're slowed down as if we're going to land, but the landing gear is not down, so it sounds that alarm. But the good news is we got our horn going off, and you did it at a really good time, so... Um, so we got the best place Romeo to land. Nine miles to the northeast, so we'll overfly the field in our left downwind, 35 hit valley. I'm not going to put my gear down yet because I don't know, and actually probably need to get a little bit closer to this runway. I'm high, which is good. You going to try to restart that engine? Yeah, with that. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. Keep it out, keep it out, keep it out. Right. Downwind for 1-3, here to street. So we'd be simulating, we're trying to restart, you know, we change fuel tank. The first thing I would have done is I would have pulled that prop. Yeah, yeah, but that's okay. So we're going to leave the prop in. So I'm going to... We look at the mixture, we look at the fuel, and then we check our mags. Okay, yeah, the engine ain't starting. All right, I'm going right. to go ahead and put the gear down. Let's just shut that off. Fairview traffic, uh, Comanche 20 Propose, turning left base, 35. Fairview. I'm going to go ahead and throw in a notch of flaps. I wouldn't turn. I think you're good. So we got the... Uh, air traffic, Cessna 8635. About 1,000 feet. Down, air country. About 900 feet. Victor, yeah, there you go. Oh. Air traffic, uh, Comanche 20 Papa. Turning final, 35. Area. Go ahead and go around. Alright, full power. Check said flaps 20, right? Mixture's all ridge. Alright, gonna put out 10 knots of flaps. Yep. Yeah. It's been a while since I've done that. That actually, I think I would have made it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah you would have made it, even if you would have turned in, but, you know, it's kind of short. Yeah. But, uh, it's good, good. Okay, uh, westerly heading. Let's head out on this thing. We're gonna slow down and do a uh, slow flag. Okay. So, did you do another climb checklist coming out of there? No. Okay. That's two and three, I shoot you, you know? Okay. So, uh, we talked about the checklist part of the maneuvers, right? Ready to your Papa, traffic 12 o'clock, 4 miles south, sign gates 3,300, and 12 o'clock and 7 miles north, sign gates 2,400. Okay, so we'll turn to the north, uh, 20 Papa. Go ahead and start to turn to the north. Okay, so, uh, cream, right? What, what does cream stand for again? So, clearing turns. Uh -huh. Radio calls. Yep. Go ahead and turn to the right. Turn to the right. Emergency prep, I guess you want to call it. Yeah, yeah. Air, airfield. Altitude and then maneuvers. Okay, altitude is an airspeed. So, what's your maneuvering speed? We're going to call it 130 miles an hour. 130 miles an hour. So, let's get to 130 miles an hour, 3,000 feet. All right, how far you want me turning? Do you have yeah, zero nine zero. Sorry, zero nine zero. All right. All right, zero nine zero three thousand. And, and what what stair speed are we going to? We want to go to one hundred and thirty miles an hour. One hundred thirty so miles an hour. Thank you. I'm guessing probably about two thousand RPM will get you one hundred thirty miles an hour. Visual pro one eighty five thirteen five descended via the Jeffrey. We have Delta. So the eighteen version one eighty five regional approach. After Greg, just going to maintain 7,000. Thank you for echo. And I want you to start configuring for slow flight. All you right. do a slow flight clean. We do it uh, dirty. Dirty? Let me say dirty. Does that mean sloppy or does that mean oh, uh, with, with flaps? Flaps gear and just all over the place. Uh, okay. So look, so you got uh, it's roughly about 1,800 on your uh, manifold pressure, no, pressure and then uh, that looks good. Manifold pressure, you got about 130, 140 knots, so come back just a little bit. Is that, is that a... No. There you four go. Five, four, five, four, five, Tango Connect, Waco Approach, one, that's two, right. that's, that's six, close six, enough. Five. So that's maneuvering speed, right? This is maneuvering speed, today. Piece of cake. Now let's slow up and do slow flight. All right. 
going to slow down, and we want to maintain, we want to keep it level, so um, I'm going to keep my, let's go ahead, 25, down. I put the gear down before I put the flaps down, so I'm going to go ahead and put the gear down. The trim for the new. Alright, I'm going to put the first bunch of flaps. Getting loosey goosey on the controls. Just so why is that? Why do we get loosey goosey? Because we're going slower. There's not as much airflow over the control surface. There you go. Okay. And we had a little more right rudder because we're pitching up. So you think you're stabilized? I think we are pretty stabilized. Okay. How about a slight left turn? All right. So you know the hack behind that, right? I would say take my foot off the right rudder. Yep. Uh, and add some left rudder. <laughs> <laughs> right? And, and look how nose, high that nose is up in the air here, right? Yep, and we're... Okay, so, man, it's, it, it's cheating on you. Look at that. It is. Isn't that amazing? Five, five, one, kilo, Charlie, thank you. Okay, roll out. Three, and then four, go back right. to the right. Go back to the right. Go back to the right. Three, five, to the right. Five. Okay. I'm going to have to add a little bit of power. Uh-huh. So flaps. And you're below, yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking it's probably about 1,800. Roll out, let's figure out what it is. Okay. Keep your level flight. Surface 185, connect approach 124.3. 24.3, good night, approach 185. Did you clean your uh, fingernails, or what's that smell? It smells like gas. It does. Cessna 553, we're multiple chances descending left to right in front of you out of 10,000 for 5,000. I think it's something inside the engine. I don't know how that this stuff feeds to the engine. You see anything? I see blue streaks on the wing over here, but I don't know why I would smell that inside the plane. Oh, uh, I don't know either. Where are How far back are the blue streaks? Uh, they're Two feet? Well, they, they, I mean, they start at the tank and they're going all the way back. Oh, okay. Well, I'll tell you what, let's just go ahead and terminate. So let's do an after takeoff checklist. We got flaps up. We still got a gear down. No, we still got a gear down. Uh, sorry, that threw me. I know. This is, <laughs> this is why. It, it, <laughs> it's okay. 992 Delta Charlie, contact approach 125.2. All right, so just to give you a bit of context, obviously we were smelling something in the plane. It smelled very strongly of fuel. Um, it's not uncommon to smell fuel uh, like when you're on the ground taxiing in certain times, but this, this smelled like someone uh, just poured a glass of low lead inside the airplane. It was extremely strong. It was, it was burning my eyes. Um, and we didn't know, the, it seemed to coincide with slow flight, right? So you got kind of a, a high pitch angle and the power's back, mixtures in, all that kind of stuff. When we leveled off and added power, the smell went away. Couldn't figure out why. Like why would why would flying slower suddenly? Um, it's not going to increase the amount of fuel that's being used. Um, I don't really want to deviate too much from the commercial stuff, but I will tell you um, what was happening was something was starting to break on the plane, and this was the very first sign of it. Um, a few flights later, it got worse, and I'm going to kind of cover that in a video. But um, what it turned out to be um, once it got real bad was this. So I'll get into all that later, um, but just based on how much fuel we were smelling, we decided to terminate the flight. Uh, we decided to head to Alliance and go ahead and land the plane because they've got long runways and if we need resources or anything, uh, they're going to have them available to us. So what about our banking, our bank, uh, Archer, uh, Falcon 6-7 Romeo Tango 2000, Comic 3000, Romeo. What about that deck angle would make us smell fuel? I don't know. Because you're not, you're not over full of it. 2000 I suggest we go back with land. Yeah. And take a look at it. Okay. Yeah, I did too. Okay? Because I can't see underneath the wings. And I can't, I can't imagine if it was outside that we'd smell it. Go back over here to the right. right. Ten, eight, four. Hey, Line Star, uh, Comanche 7420 Papa. 420 Papa, Line Star, go ahead. 
Yeah, well, we'd like to use a long runway over there just in case it's our brake fluid we're smelling up here. Is that okay with you? We can take the 3-4 uh, left, maybe a right down one, 3-4 left. 2-2-0, Papa, you want to come into a line? Affirmative. 2-2-0, Papa, Roger, uh, would you like runway 1-6 left? Wind's currently 0 5 zero at 7 If not, I can take you to 3-4-8. Right. Did you want 1-6 left? Um, I do it, yeah. Yeah, we can do one six left for you, sir, uh, and we'd like to clear him. Try to make it to the FBO and get down and take a look around. Right, two zero, Papa Roger. You don't require assistance at this time. Negative. Right, two zero, Papa Roger. Make sure you're one six left. Straight in one six left. Uh, two zero, Papa. How exciting! I think it had to do with the bank angle, because obviously the props pull forward now. That has nothing to do with yeah. it. Yeah. Fuel pumps on. That has nothing to do with it. So and so well, we weren't. We what's weren't. in the belly that could be rolling under us? That's a liquid. Is the only thing I think of is hydraulic fluid. And I can't think of hydraulic fluid having a strong alcohol smell like that. Okay. Five two hotel traffic at your uh, eleven. Correction, your ten o'clock. Moving to your nine o'clock at one thousand six hundred. Uh, Albatross turning westbound. Welcome to the traffic. Five two hotel. All right, gear still down. Still down, right? The flaps are still up. Yeah. See, I get to sign you off for your emergency, do you say? You're, uh, <laughs> two of them. Overshot a little bit. I smell it again. Yeah, you're going to the right one, correct? I know, I just overshot. Yeah. That smells like fuel. Yeah. So hotel number two behind a uh, Cherokee on a uh, short final, only three-four left. Christian, only three-four right, clear to land. Why do I smell right, clear to land? Like yeah, smell it again. Why do I smell fuel when we're idling? No, I don't know. Hey, Tower, uh, two-zero, Papa, does it look like we're trailing any fuel? Stand by. Yeah, it's too late. What does taxi clear? Five two hotel saw nothing. No trailing you. Two bomb. Thank you. I don't want to go too much into, we, we pulled the cowl off and looked at the engine. We crawled all underneath it. I didn't see any signs of fuel. Nothing was wet. I didn't see blue stains anywhere. Um, you heard me mention in the, when we were flying that I saw blue streaks on the top of the wing. That was just because I spilled some fuel when I was fueling the plane around the edge of the uh, gas cap and it got pulled out. That's, that's pretty normal and certainly wouldn't have uh, made as strong a fuel smell as we were smelling. So uh, I'm going to get into this whole a uh, mechanical issue in a different set of videos because it's uh, two or three flights later that it actually became a problem and it's fixed now, everything's great. Um, but I want to focus on this. I do want to focus more on the commercial stuff. And so in keeping with the spirit of the, the commercial training, I, I do want to shout out um, to Gold Seal. I'm working with those guys. I'm probably not going to do a whole video about the written, but I'm prepping um, with my instructor and studying with some friends and the Gold Seal team um, for the written and for also the maneuvers. If you're interested in the commercial, I'm going to put a link in the description. Gold Seal has this basically commercial, it's kind of a condensed packet that goes through all of the maneuvers. Um, they're very nicely laid out with descriptions. Uh, it, it goes through everything that you're going to need to know for the oral portion of your check ride. I'll put a link to this document um, for the commercial guide. And I'll also put a link if you, you know, I always you know, say this during the series, if you're interested in learning to fly but don't know where to start, the first step is, is a link in the description where you can sign up and test Gold Seal's um, ground school for free. So uh, check that out. Um, unfortunately, we didn't continue the flight, so we didn't get to do any more commercial maneuvers. I'm kind of disappointed in that, but the right thing to do was to land. So uh, please stick around if you're interested in getting your commercial and learning how to become a commercial pilot. That's the goal of this vlog. Sorry, it's not funny. Uh, this time of year, I deviate from the humor because there's so much real flying going on. So uh, thanks for sticking with me this long, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. You guys fly smart, and uh, we're going to get our commercial license together. Thanks. Click this link to see the most recent video upload. Click this link to see a video that YouTube thinks you might like. Click this link to subscribe to my channel.